Good afternoon everyone and welcome to um, this amazing celebration um, to my mother's cupboard and also uh, to my cooking class. <laughs> it's, it's really funny but um, it, it may be, how would I say, this is an unusual kind of class because you really sort of, I really just want to teach you how things are done home home cook style you know um, not really like so precise it's really according to your taste and most important when you cook remember you cook from your heart okay so let me start um, you've got your recipes with you and uh, before anything else I'd like to introduce um, my two wonderful chefs and uh, this is chef Noel Behasa and mommy Daisy you will be you see them every so often walking around here in Evia um, chef Noel is our executive chef for for the restaurants that we operate and mommy Daisy is our amazing pastry chef so all the wonderful goodies that you can find from cheesecake fairy it's not cheesecake factory correction that's the one in America <laughs> cheesecake fairy and all in all the restaurants uh, that we operate uh, under Cafe Bola, it, we make our own pastries and breads. So, Mommy Daisy is the, the expert there. In the Indian evening. Yeah. Okay, so let's not waste time. We'll start with the tomato and tofu soup. Chef Noel, are you ready for this? So, i na natin para mag Oops. So you can see the, the the recipes are pretty easy to follow. Yeah, okay. So please turn on the. So we start with your ingredients. Do I have to go through the ingredients or it's easy to follow na? Huh? It's let's just go with the procedure. So you uh, as you can see we have um, tofu. So you can use either the hard tofu or the soft tofu. Okay. And of course, uh, vegetable oil or chicken stock. Vegetable for vegetarian and st chicken stock. Me, preferably, I, I love chicken stock. So that, that's totally up to you. And then we have Roma tom tomatoes. Um, they're actually, the local tomatoes are fine. We don't really need the, the super special ones. No? So uh, we have that as well. So we, we, we cut them up like that we've got the tofu we've got the mushrooms the onion the egg everything else tomato sauce um, so we can start chef noel can we start so we're we're uh we're gonna put the the chicken sauce the chicken um stock to a to a boil here, dito na. Yeah, you can take that out. Turn this on. So while that's boiling, we're gonna saute. Where's the bigger pan? I think we need a bigger pan. We start with oil, of course. I need a spoon. Then we'll put the tomatoes. And the onions. I think I, I need a spoon here, yeah, thank you. This on high. We need a little shallots, no? Can you another soup? The mushrooms. Mm -hmm, yes. Yeah. 
Here's your shallots. So we we wait until the the you you normally here they didn't do it, but normally you'd also like to take out the seeds from the tomato. It's always far better. Can you just give me some. It's a very simple, easy, very easy, um, but very refreshing uh, soup to make. We, we serve this in our restaurants. This is fine now. Okay, Sugesha. Since that's boiling already, let's... Um, no, no, you just... Just uh, the other way around. Lilipat na. So we just simply put this to to the to the fish uh, to the chicken stock. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So easy. So you can see. Actually, guys, you can come closer. You know what you think? I mean, if you're particular about social distancing, I don't know. So then, we we start. We start putting a little bit of the tomato sauce. Uh, we need, so the chef. We need um, how many? Two tablespoons, lamang. That's to color it. Okay, and then we need a little bit of tamarind paste. The tamarind paste gives it the sourness. It's so it's gonna be like a Chinese sour. And hot soup, but it's the Thai, uh, the Vietnamese way, no? So there. And then you're gonna put in the beaten egg, one beaten egg. It says half, but I would put all. I would put the whole chicken um, egg, beaten egg. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna email that because it uh, it's. It's my way of preparing it, and I forgot to include it, but I'll send that in the email, I promise. I mean, that's if you want it so maarte, but actually, tomato sauce is fine, but I'll teach you. Which is combining really shallots with tomato, a little fish sauce, and sugar. So it makes it more, parang deeper in taste. So, pardon me? The all day supermarket <laughs> no really this is i mean i was so impressed because you know this, this pandemic i've been all over looking for ingredients right and it's here this is how it looks like you can do so many things with this tamari paste i mean later on we'll have more sh cooking shows and and we'll um, share it with you so as you can see Then you throw in your tofu. Can I have a tasting spoon? Yeah. So of course you always taste what you make, di ba? Let's see. As you know, our magic is patties. <laughs> I have another uh, tasting spoon but you see I mean I, d I don't mean to brag but look how beautiful and robust the color of our tomatoes from Somo market these are all brought in from Baguio okay so uh, let's taste and then a little palm sugar Okay, so the little saltiness, but then again, we're gonna put a little palm sugar. Did I put that in the recipe? Okay, so look at this. This is a, a kilo worth of palm sugar. Okay, what's the difference between coconut and palm? Coconut, 
tends to burn faster. Palm, because it's so high in content of oil, it really makes your, it really caramelizes better than regular sugar or coconut. So I always, and what's good about uh, palm sugar is because it's, it has, it gives a lot of umami to your cooking because it's not so sweet. Okay, it's not cane sugar, it's not coconut. So there, there last you. What's the taste? Parang there's something to it. It's so so much deeper. And for me, honestly, it's palm sugar. So we put a little. So look, look at this oil. See. When, when you buy the, in, the, in the grocery and it looks like this, don't worry. What you do is you get a big spoon and you just keep blending it. Sana yung ating basket na puro spang tasting. Ang spoon niya. That's much better. Okay, I think I want to put more Thai patties because it's always better when it's a little saltier, no? Again, you choose uh, cooking. I mean, flavoring is really up to you. It's it's totally according to how you you want it, no? So we give you a guideline in your recipe, but you're free to mix it to however way. Do we have uh, plastic cups that they can taste? Mm, that's perfect. So here we are. Then we end up with, huh? Then we put in the the beaten egg. This comes out like like um, you know, like in the crab crab soup. Wait, my makeup is melting, so I'm getting. The <laughs> makeup, pa kasi. <laughs> Ang init pala ng lights na yan. So it ends up like this. Does anyone want to try? Okay. So do we have bowls? Slice some basil to top it. So when you're about to have your soup, when you're about to serve, that's when you put it. Not while it's boiling because it's going to end up ugly and brown. Okay, so the freshness of the basil mixed with the tomatoes, perfect. Okay, any questions?